Hello, my beautiful and talented familia. Welcome to my channel. We are all creative buddies here. And today we are going to paint my shutter or uh, louver doors slash panels of my new fall wardrobe. I also have to say that initially I was struggling to pick a product or even a color for this project because, well, it caused many debates with some individuals I share this apartment with. <laughs> But when I finally realized that I don't want any dark or even uh, lighter, bright, uh, dense colors to be involved in this makeover, so I stopped my choice on the white product, but not just white one, no, 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 no. Um, the one which will save this original wooden pattern, um, because my hallway is quite narrow, and the plan was to save as much breeze air as I can. Anyways, the product I chose for this project is a stainer Dufatex Aqua, which is very cool. It's very cheap, it's very eco-friendly. You can use it if you're either allergic or you can use it in children's room. Also, it doesn't leave smudges. And what's important for me, it keeps that wooden texture which will give me this serene peace of mind. So, without further ado, let's start our rad project. Let's get it, let's go! So first of all, I'm gonna take my doors off of the rails. I'm delighted that I installed them that way on the wheels, rather than like classically open doors. Because as I said, I need to save as much space in the hole as I can. My doors are already clean, but before painting you might want to send them of any extra bumps and roughness. Some manufacturers produce doors with such little nuance as moving rods. So before applying coatings, I pull all of them from the one side to another. And once I'm done with the corners, I'll move them back. For my tools I picked two brushes, which fit to each side of my frame, 7 and 4 cm. And then we are applying our first layer, of course, following wood grains pattern. Make sure that you are painting down the rod stilt, not the other way around. It's easier to fill the corners and at this angle you won't damage the brush. 